So it turns out podcasting is a thing. What's up, socials? Happy Savvy Tuesday. I am on vacation right now, but yet here I am still making a video for you. I just wanted you to feel that love. For today's Savvy Tuesday, I wanted to talk a little bit about my podcast and what it's been like to launch one. If you guys aren't familiar, on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, I have the Marketing Lifestyle Show where I publish an episode every Friday. Most of the time, I'm interviewing somebody and talking to them about how they're living the marketing lifestyle and what you can learn from that. Sometimes it's just me taking your questions. And sure, I have started podcasts before, uh, but this was my first real attempt to do it uh, in the traditional way that's happening these days that's really starting to take the online radio world by storm. When you guys asked me for more content and wanted more videos, I said no, and that I wanted to start a podcast instead and try to get acquainted with this audio side of content marketing, and it's been great so far, but I just wanted to share a few details just in case you're thinking about doing it for yourself. First of all, a lot of people ask me why I have a podcast. Podcast, and I love that question because just like I said, you guys wanted more content, so that's why I started the podcast. It's very much a customer service thing for me. That being said, it is a great opportunity for people already hanging out in the audio world to get to know me and ask them, hey, come hang out with us on YouTube. So the one thing that you really need to know is if you're trying to grow brand awareness, which a lot of us are, you really need to take those first steps before the launch extremely seriously. If you don't know what ID3 tags are, you're gonna be in trouble. Essentially, this means the same thing as what I would tell you about YouTube. If you don't have the right copy where it needs to be in your headline, your description, and your tags, YouTube doesn't know what your show is about, so you're not gonna get categorized very well. Well, the same goes for podcasting. ID3 tags are all of the information that they read in the copy about what your podcast is about. So if you want to get a little bit of recognition for who you're interviewing, or just make it easy for people to be able to search for you and find your content, you're really gonna need to look up how to properly tag each episode of your podcast. Next, this industry is extremely new still, so measuring success is a little bit difficult unless you know exactly what to look for. And one of the biggest things to look for is download numbers. There's unique downloads and then there's just overall downloads, but those are the major numbers that you're gonna have to judge on how well your show is being received and how wide it is spread. So in the launch where you're trying to gain as much speed as possible, you're going to want as many downloads downloads as possible in those beginning stages. So you really want to launch with not just one episode. You want to have maybe two or three ready to go when the show is brand new so that when somebody decides to subscribe or goes to check out the podcast, you're getting three downloads from them rather than just one. These inflated numbers are really important because in the beginning stages of the podcast, you have an opportunity called new and noteworthy, which is both on iTunes or Stitcher or any other platform that's out there these days that syndicates shows. It means that if a show's getting a good amount of downloads in the initial stages that it's one that these platforms are going to want to promote to the audience that's looking for new stuff that's going to be fun and interesting to listen to. So that first six weeks, about two months of your show is really critical to get as much traction as possible because the higher you are on the new and noteworthy charts, the more likely that you can grow more quickly in the beginning of the show. I definitely saw a little bit of traction with new and noteworthy, no doubt about it, but what happens after that six or eight week mark is what's really interesting. Do people stick around or were you just getting listens while you were on that chart but nobody really subscribed to be able to stick around with you in the long run? I personally think New and Noteworthy didn't actually help me a ton. I might have seen a little bit of an increase, but based on the numbers that I am getting now, most of the listens that I have are people that came over from YouTube. Like I said, customer service. So the downloads that I'm getting are totally expected on my part. I didn't really see a ton of help from iTunes. That being said, there was one point in time where one show just absolutely blew my numbers out of the water, and it was all traffic from Stitcher Radio, but iOS users. So I guess a lot of people are using Stitcher because they don't necessarily like the podcast iTunes app, uh, so something to consider there. I think overall I've loved the podcasting experience just because it, it offers a new way for me to talk to you guys. You guys are used to not hearing me breathe very often because I'm jump cutting and doing these really quick videos, but to be able to have an extended conversation and just have something be more relaxed where maybe you can multitask, listen to the show while you're doing some work or going for a run or commuting, whatever it is. I love uh, what we've been able to do over there and I've been able to bring other perspectives on. I, it's, 
I think it's good. I don't know. I mean, like, if you listen to the Marketing Lifestyle Show, I hope you'll leave in the comments what you've been thinking about it so far, especially if you have or haven't left a review. That totally helps. But regardless, I want to know what you guys think of the podcast if you're listening to it, or if you don't know about it, Go check it out and let me know. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat. That's my email newsletter. You'll get all the videos, the podcast, and a special note from me in addition to a free download when you pop your info in there. So check that out. The link is in the annotation below. And I will see you tomorrow for Sexy Wednesday.